Ah, the Camino de Santiago, a quest for spiritual awakening, breathtaking landscapes, and... I hate to say it, chafing. It's true, folks. Chafing. It's a thing. Yes, my fellow pilgrims, today we tackle... Wrong word. Um, cover! A topic as ancient as the Pilgrim Trail itself. The quest for the perfect pair of hiking underwear. That rhymes. All this and more when we get back. Hit it! And welcome back, folks, to the Shell Toucher channel. What an exciting episode today. If this is your first time tuning in, however, this is where we cover all things coming up at Santiago. See what I did there? I put that little... I can't talk right when I get back from there. I'm like, Galicia, Galicia, can you pass the... That's what I do. It's embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. I don't even care. In fact, it's a conversation piece. My list that I return with and have for probably two or three weeks is a conversation piece. At least that's what I tell myself. Anyways, what I'm saying is... This channel, we cover all things tips, tricks, hacks, and training. Tips and hacks as well when it comes to the community of Santiago. So if this is your first time tuning in, please do not forget to subscribe and like what you see if you, in fact, like what you see. I know many people are watching on smart TVs these days, but if you are, shame on you. No, I'm, I'm actually proud of you, and I'm going to make this really easy for you. Scan this. I'm only going to have this here for a couple seconds longer. I know that phone's in your hand. Scan this and just give the video a like. And subscribe. And if you really want. And if you really feel like going the extra mile, click that notification bell button somewhere down here. So you'll be notified with every new video that pops up, shows up, that is released. As it's released. So, uh, much appreciated. It really helps grow the channel and uh, inspires me to do more videos. That said. Underwear. Is Funderwear, right? <laughs> No, but it's true. No. No, well, that part isn't true. But it's it's probably one of the most important pieces of your kit. I know, I say this a lot. There's so many often overlooked important pieces of the kit. I'm coming to find out, actually, with every new video I make. But underwear. Underwear is something you want to just buy and forget about. You don't even want to know it's there. In fact, the best underwear is the underwear that you don't realize is there. So we're going to be looking at what I think is the best underwear available for you out there. This, this is for men and women as well. I think we all tend to suffer from the same thing, which is, or can tend to suffer from the same thing. Which is chafing. So what do I think is the best underwear? I mean, let's, let's just get right to it. Ex officio. Behold, the ex officio briefs. Brand spanking new. These are the give and go, uh, I guess you would say travel underwear. I mean, these are built to travel. They really are. And I am enamored by them. I know it sounds sad, a grown man enamored by underwear. His own underwear. But it's true. I really can't get enough of this underwear. It's not like a fetish type thing. It's just an appreciation more than anything else. And I appreciate ex officio. I actually stumbled upon them by accident many, many years ago on a flight to or leaving. Where was I? Seattle. I was leaving Seattle, actually, and it was an airport ex officio store. I wandered into, I needed a new pair of pants. I don't know what I need. I, th I think I walked in there with a pair of pants, though, and a pack of underwear. Actually, no, and a pair of underwear. And they absolutely blew my mind. They are the perfect travel underwear. Be you doing the Camino, be you hiking the AT, be you <clears> not <throat> even a hiker at all. I, and if you're not, I don't know how you even stumbled upon this channel. <gasps> but these are great travel underwear. And you really, really get your money's worth when it comes to ex officio. So first off, let's talk about it's moisture wicking magic ability. Shall we? These will keep you dry and comfortable all the live long day. Remember, I said the best pair of underwear is the pair of underwear that you don't notice. And these briefs are like a personal climate control for your nether regions. <laughs> Whisking away moisture faster than you can say, Shreddy. <gasps> Whisking away moisture faster than you can say, Sweaty thighs. Perfect for those long, hot, sometimes damp days traveling to Santiago. If that's where you're heading to. Like, let's assume you are. Next up, <sighs> these are new. Don't worry, it's not that freaky. They're odor resistant. The Camino is known for many miracles. However, turning stinky garments fresh again is not one of them. I promise you. Enter ex officio with its, its anti-odor anti ability. Actually, anti-odor technology. 
They've thought of everything, which allows you to wear them for, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, for more than one day. Not that you would do that. I wouldn't do that. You you wouldn't do that. Oh, man. Would you do that? You. Yeah, you. Okay. You need to unsubscribe right now. And we're not going to wait. Just unsubscribe. Thank you. Freak. Anyways, my point is you could, if necessary, wear them for more than one day. I don't recommend you do that. In shorts, I, in short, say adios to stink. Putin libre no masks. That's Spanish. But here's where we get to the heart of the matter. Chafing. Chafing. Chafing! The absolute bane of every pilgrim's existence. What is a bane? <clears throat> what is a bane? Huh. Did you know that? We learn things here as well, don't we? <laughs> Observe. These are the six inch, but they also make a nine inch, which I think both are the perfect size to prevent chafing on the inner thigh. However, you know, there's ways around that as well if you're not gonna opt for the ex officio, but even if you do opt for the ex officios, and I hope you do, I highly recommend you use an anti-chafing cream and even powder as well. Just double up. The more uh, preventative measures you take, the better off you'll be. I use an anti-chafing stick. My anti-chafing stick. I use this every day. I've explained this in other episodes how to use this. So if that appeals to you, check out my past episodes. I don't even know which episode that was. But anti-chafing stick, I highly recommend it. Live it, love it, use it on your inner thigh. There are other brands out there as well. But I, you know, I started off every day rubbing this on my inner thighs, just in case. However, these ex officio kept me covered. And that's the most important thing. They run, run just long enough not to be considered shorts themselves. You know what I mean? They really do provide adequate coverage of your inner thigh because your inner thighs deserve peace. Another hallmark of ex officios is their durability. They are, how do you say, um, tougher than a $2 steak and will definitely get you through the wear and tear of any Camino. But over a month, uh, over 40 days, we'll say. Actually, no, and I went to, on another trip right after that. So two months of... What did that bring me? Three pairs of ex officios. I easily could have brought just two. And that says a lot because at the end of the day, the last thing you want giving up before you do is your underwear. And let's talk now about the quick drying element of ex officio. Did I even mention that? These, that's what makes them super great for travel. They dry ultra fast. It's actually unbelievable. Between two and four hours, depending on the conditions really. Northern Spain is damp. It is humid, especially in the spring if that's when you're going. These dry super duper fast. You can wash them in the washing machine. You can wash them by hand in the sink. I actually got into such a habit of washing these in the sink. Two weeks after I got off the Camino, I was still doing it. People were concerned and I don't blame them. But you realize how easy it is. And it's just like, yeah, everyone should be washing their underwear in the sink at the end of every day. It's just part of life, right? I mean, right? <laughs> but super easy to do. Uh, fill up the sink, cold water, as you would when you're washing any type of clothes. If this is your first time hearing about washing clothes in the sink, you get a little more research to do, buddy. But that's what the community is all about. Anyways, with these, at the end of each day, I would take, again, I brought three pairs with me. Uh, I would take two pairs, depending if I had two dirty pairs, if I only had one pair, the pair that I wore that day, would always go in the sink. Because you take a shower, at least I did. Uh, and you probably will too. Because you're schwitzen at the end of the day. You can smell it. Take a shower, do your laundry, uh, do your underwear especially, but you can you can even wear these into the shower and wash them in there. Kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. Hey. Not my method of choice, but some pilgrims swear by it. Anyways, cold water in the sink, fill the sink. I use a detergent sheet. Uh, they're sold in the United States. Sheets of detergent travel really well. And I'm not talking necessarily about the ones that come in a little packet by Sea to Summit, but they also make, you've probably seen them in stores by now, larger sheets too. You can bring a bunch of those and they really use the pack because they're flat. Anyways, take a strip of that, dissolve it in the water, put these bad boys in. I typically clean with cold water because I'm usually wearing a lot of wool and merino layers as well. So I'll clean in cold water, but you can do lukewarm, medium warm. I don't, wouldn't do totally hot. I can take it, but I wouldn't necessarily do that. Anyways, wring it out to the best of your ability. And then on another note, when wringing these out after a cool water rinse, roll them up from the bottom, like this, and wring this bottom portion of the underwear out. Don't wring the band. 
You can damage the elastic in any pair of underwear band if you wring that out, and this doesn't absorb water anyways. It's the rest that we're focusing on here, and trying not to damage. These babies gotta last us. Boom. Next, we roll it out on a towel. If you're using a microfiber towel, that's probably the best way to go. You will put the wrung out pair of ex officio on the towel, then roll up the towel, squeezing it as you go. Then take out the ex officios and hang them to dry. Using the towel method, that takes off like an hour's worth of drying time, if you ask me, in my experience anyways. So use the towel method. Use the towel method with as many clothes as you possibly can and use a microfiber towel. Or um, there are a lot of towel op options out there. Microfiber, I think, is the best. You'll get more use out of them. This is one of those uses. So after you remove from the towel, hang to dry. And between two, again, four hours, depending on the humidity. But when you use the towel method, I say two hours. They're dry and good to go. See, the goal is to have all your clothes dry before you go to bed so you can pack them up and don't have to worry about doing anything in the morning. That's how you forget stuff. That alone makes them worth it. I mean, these do, now hear me out, they probably cost between $15, $25 on Amazon. I'll put some links below. Whereas you could buy some cheap underwear, probably 12 pairs for that same price of like cotton underwear. That's not going to function in the same way that these are. These are designed for travel and you're only going to need the most two pairs. So it's totally worth the investment, if you ask me. Again, we want underwear that can perform such as these do, not the cotton stuff. Stay away from cotton underwear. Stay away from cotton underwear. So yes, quick drying. Super essential when you're carrying everything you own on your back for over a month. Or even two weeks. Or even a week. I want to hear your comments below on how they perform for you. Many, many outdoor enthusiasts and hikers swear by ex officios. Google it. Google it. I'll wait. Google it. Google it. The fastest way to kill a conversation, right? No, don't no, Google it. I'm going to tell you. The reason why so many people swear by them is because they combine the holy trinity of hiking comfort. And what may that be? Well, I'll tell you. It is the chafe preventing, moisture wicking, and odor resistant. And I don't mean like they're magically odor resistant or just due to the material. They're actually treated to be odor resistant. So that's three. That's a trinity. Three. And on top of that, they're durable and quick drying too. So that's more like five. I just wanted to say Trinity. I mean, it just kind of ties the whole room together when you're talking about the Camino and St. James. And it, I just wanted to say Trinity really. It kind of goes with the whole Camino theme. And I have tried others. Don't get me wrong. Don't be like, well, wool's the best. Wool's the best. Wool is heavier. Wool is heavier. And honestly, wool has a lot of benefits. I don't even need to go into them here. I'm a huge fan of wool. I have wool underwear as well, but I prefer ex officio, and I don't typically go that route. I'm all about wool, if that tells you anything. Uh, these are great. Those dry faster. The ex officios really have it going on when it comes to much needed performance when you're on a uh, Camino. The underwear itself that I have is heavier than the ex officios, which I believe weigh about 90 grams, the ex officios. So that's it, folks. Check out Exofficios, the six inch or the nine inch. This is for men or women concerned with chafing. Consider using a chafing stick. Can also consider using powder in there. Those are my tips. And those are things I do, whether you do that or not, whether you need to do that or not, experiment. It's very, very important that you practice with all your gear. Do training hikes, do, just wear everything, try it out and figure out what works and what doesn't work before you leave. I like to think that these tips, tricks and hacks videos that I do save you time and money when it comes to different products because I've already tested them out for you. However, everybody's body is different. Whoa. That made me dizzy. This also makes me dizzy. If you like what you saw here today, please like. Was that redundant? Subscribe and comment below. I really appreciate it if you commented below because that lets me know that people are actually watching these things and I'm not wasting my time. I'm probably wasting my time. I'm not wasting my time. You're going to help me by commenting below. Thank you for tuning in, folks. And until next time, happy. You know what? Let me address the elephant in the room. What are you doing in here? You're too big. It's true, folks. I cut my hair. <clears throat> Actually, I didn't cut my hair. Someone else did. But it had to happen. I'm kind of extreme. I go from one to the other. Who knows what's going to turn up on the next episode when it comes to my hair or lack thereof. Until next time, folks.
Fakey. Fakey again. Psych. One coming up.